Steve, good morning to you. Great to have you on Tech Check. Um, the good story morning. when it comes to Salesforce, um, market is bullish on its maybe improved profitability prospects, but isn't the story here growth? And growth has been decelerating for years when you take away the M&A impact. And also you got to look at this company's stock-based compensation. That's a huge part of its profitability as well, or lack of it. Yeah, so it should be in theory, uh, Deirdre, it should be in theory the growth prospects. But unfortunately, the whole tech sector has been trading off of how many layoffs have they announced? Look at Meta. Meta announces, which I own, Meta announces layoffs and stocks rips higher. Salesforce announces layoffs and stock rips higher. So the market is trying to decide, on one hand, layoffs, other hand, uh, gross margins. So will the layoffs give them the tailwind and cut enough costs so that they can move forward? But if you look at the stock, Deirdre, go back to pandemic. Mm -hmm. Look at the chart on the, on the stock. That's where it balanced at the pandemic low. So that's a very precarious spot to bounce. Means to me, people don't know enough about the fundamentals or the growth prospects going forward, so they're trading yeah. off of technicals. So they're looking for bottom feeders right now. Yeah, I think you said the key word there, fundamentals. And Salesforce may be doing its part in terms of layoffs, but it also has an issue with executive departures, right? Some of um, Wall the people that Wall Street liked most, like Brett Taylor and Stuart Butterfield, some might argue that those were sort of the organic growth guys. So where does Benioff, where does Salesforce go from here? I mean, if the market doesn't want him to do any more acquisitions, where's that growth coming from? Yeah, so, so you have to, if you look into a rising rate environment, the calculus changes. You're not supposed to be buying growth stocks, per se. But we are looking at the macro versus the micro in the innards under the hood of Salesforce. So uh, investors are willing to say, are rates rising as fast as they were? Are we coming to an end of the uh, end to, to the Fed hikes? And if we are, then Salesforce becomes viable just on the fact that it's gotten so bad that people are looking for beta out of the chute in 2023. So fundamentals, Deirdre, will not come into play until the first quarter's over.